Greetings, Earthlings! We are your nonfiction friends traveling through the Dewey Decimal System on a 15 minute mission to explore strange new topics, to seek out new ideas and new information. Today, we are boldly going where every, literally every librarian, every single one, has gone before. 791.45 Star Trek! Star Trek! Oh, wait for it. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, so Star Trek was created by Gene Roddenberry. Uh, the original aired September 8, 1966 on NBC. Wow. Viewers follow along with Captain Kirk on the Starship USS Enterprise. You could have access to the holodeck for like an afternoon. What would you do? Where would you go? You could program anything you want. I, I'm on the Enterprise though. Yes. Oh man, this is honestly. Like, oh, so like, I, can I, can I? data, you're going, you got a free afternoon, you're going into the holodeck, and you can do whatever you want, you can go anywhere. I think I'll do a reoccurring favorite that um, the Enterprise crew does, is that they pilot an actual, like, ship on the ocean. Right. That's and it's called one. the HMS Enterprise, and, like, no <laughs> surprise there. But um, I think that would be fun to be, like, on a ship sailing the seas with the crew, like, doing it that way. You know, just seeing how everyone intermingles. Like, who's raising the mast? Who's, like, <laughs> steering the ship? So it's still the same kind of dynamics. Yeah. Just in totally different circumstances. I think that would be fun. That would be fun. What about you? Um, I like Data's way of thinking, where he, like, steps into books and things like that. That's, a, like, a library cliche answer. But really, I would. I would go into, like... Pride and Prejudice. Oh, that'd be interesting. Be Elizabeth Bennet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like nerdception, nerding out within a nerdy topic. Yeah, that's 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 really fascinating. Though. I wonder how the holodeck would like put like make that sync. Would it be like the movie? Who programs the holodeck? Like, where does the, where does the program come from? Starfleet. Do you just go up to somebody who's working in like IT on the Enterprise? Like, is there like, <laughs> is there like a, or what Mr. Darcy looks like? Is there a pre-programmed Mr. Darcy? Okay. Or could I make Riker be Mr. Darcy? Well, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and we can cut this off. But <laughs> you, I don't know what fan fiction you're writing, but. <laughs> I brought the Star Trek Starfleet Survival Guide. Which oh, that's, that seems very necessary. I feel like everyone should get a copy of this. It's by Give David it Mack. Kirk. I think he would need it the most. <laughs> he might just throw it out the window, but who knows? I mean, I am wearing a red shirt today, so even though I have the uh, captain buttons, um, what I didn't know is that you can actually cook food with your phaser in emergency situations. I don't imagine that that would taste specifically. Like, I mean, I, it would be the same as maybe being microwaved, right? Which, again, microwaving no, things isn't great taste, either. But if you're desperate, okay, um, and for some reason you absolutely have to cook something, you can, as long as you have your trusty phaser with you. It goes into very detailed specifications, um, specifications like step one, step two. So, for instance, uh, set the phaser beam intensity to level one and the beam width set to minimum. It was very specific. Sterilize the food in sections at a rate of roughly three cubic centimeters per 20 seconds using a sustained, low intensity phaser beam. Does it say how to cook steak at different, like if I wanted a medium, <laughs> medium rare, rare steak? <laughs> it does not because you're just trying to get it to like safe consumption levels. Yeah. Okay. It's got stuff like that. It's got, you know, like what to do if you run into this alien species out in the middle of nowhere or things like that. Very fascinating. It's always interesting to me how far people take the fandoms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know at conventions there are tons of people that know the whole Klingon language. Mm -hmm. I think we had someone here last year during fanfare, fanfare yeah. he's a very big Klingon cosplayer and mm -hmm. knows the history, can speak the language. I think he even makes some of their dishes, which 
is well I don't let's just say the Klingon diet's not, not for me that I would really be interested in but yeah I was wearing a Star Trek costume too I was original series and he actually stayed in character to ask me what mission I was on and I was just like oh I wasn't prepared to answer that question oh even in character <laughs> yes he was very in character he I was very impressive with his depth of knowledge of the Klingon race and all Star Trek wow I actually went to a Star Trek uh, convention. I don't know if it was a convention. It's more of an exhibit out in Las Vegas um, back when I used to live there. And it was the coolest experience I could have ever imagined. They had life-size photon torpedoes there. Wow. Um, people dressed in full costume, uh, in character the whole time. Met a Borg. Um, tried, oh. tried to assimilate me. Oh, of course. I said no, <laughs> but... I, I mean, he just let you go. I mean, I had a Klingon friend with me there. He's like, he's like, back off, you oh, know. Okay, so like personal security. Although he did try to offer me some of his um, food, and I had to politely decline. <laughs> there was also a full re uh, recreation of a bridge. I think it was the Enterprise Bridge right. there that I got to sit in on, and awesome. it was the most. I don't, I can't even describe, I totally geeked out, uh -huh. and I was <laughs> just amazed. <laughs> Lack of words, words, yeah. Yeah. I heard you can get married there. Yes, you can. That would be so fun. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I mean, <laughs> chase your bliss. <laughs> just, I mean, don't invite the board guy to your wedding, because he might, it wouldn't be a good just look. assimilate all your guests. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Although you would all be united in a very unique way. That's true. 